Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited. Today's video is all about the read alouds and the readers for Core J 8th grade Sunlight Curriculum. I cannot wait to share this with you. I'm giddy. I can't wait to go through them. I want to read them all right now. I wish I didn't have to wait till next year, but we're still enjoying Core H, so I am going to finish it, and I'm loving the books that we got to read last year, so it makes me even more excited for the books we get to read this year. Okay, if you missed my last video, it was about what books we were doing for history and Bible for sunlight <laughs> um, for our for eighth grade. So history and Bible for eighth grade. I'll put the video up here. Um, that should have come out uh, three days ago. And um, yeah, so you should be able to find that. The next video is going to be the books that I'm reading out loud and that he's reading. And I am just so excited. So I will timestamp these. I will link them all below so you can find them and buy them for yourself if you so desire. Oh, and one other thing, just like my last video, all of these are in the order that we will be reading them this year. So you don't have to wonder like, wait, which ones first? I'm reading them, I'm showing them to you in the order that they are going to be read next year. And so, to start it off, okay, the very first book we're gonna be reading is Hold. And if you've never watched the movie, go do that, because the movie is amazing. I can't wait. I'm actually really glad because I almost bought Holes, and then I ended up not buying Holes because I saw it was in the next year's curriculum. This book, I actually named my youngest child for a character in it because I enjoyed it so much. This is about a boy, Stanley Yelnats, who has been cursed, and uh, I feel like everyone will have seen this movie, but if not, um, it's really quite funny, and the book is just going to be a treat to go through, so I feel like Sunlight really just like kind of gave us a fun book to start with this year. The next book we'll be reading is The Book of Nature Poetry. Now, I'm guessing that this is something we read throughout the year. I have not looked at the schedule yet to like confirm that, but I'm guessing because we have another one like this. Also, a National Geographic poetry um, about animals, and that's how we do that one. So I'm guessing that we start it in like the second week or the first week, but it's something we read throughout the whole year. The next book we'll be reading is called A Ring of Endless Light. To make this video not take forever, I cannot read you the back of every single one, but I will read you a tiny snippet just so you understand what it's about. Um, I read the back of all of them and I am like dying to read them all. After a tumultuous year in New York City, the Austins are spending the summer on the small island where their grandfather lives. He is very sick and watching his condition deteriorate as the summer passes is almost more than Vicky can bear. To complicate matters, she finds herself as the center of attention for three very different boys. Then it goes in to talk about each of them. Again, found it very interesting and really can't wait to get into this book. The next book is called The Book of Lost Things by Cynthia Voigt. Luckily, the back is really small, so I can just read it to you really fast. It says, Max was supposed to meet his parents aboard the Flower of Kashmir, but when he arrives at the docks, there was no ship. Uh, there was no such ship. No ship and no parents. Now Max must find them. Ooh, looks really good. The next book is Penny from Heaven by Jennifer L. Holm. School's out for the summer. Penny and her cousin Frankie have their summer plans all worked out. They're gonna get jobs at Uncle Ralphie's store, make some extra cash. They're gonna sneak into the local swimming pool, Frankie's idea, eat butter pecan ice cream, Penny's idea, and listen to the ball games on the radio. Obviously, things happen. Uh, again, can't read you the whole thing. The next book is Belle Prater's Boy by Ruth White. I hope it's Prater, Prater, I'm not sure which, but it looks like Prater. Um, one Sunday morning, Belle Prater, <laughs> Prater, who knows, disappeared. I should look it up. Everyone in Cole Station, Virginia has a theory about what happened to Belle Prater, but 12-year-old Gypsy wants the facts, and when her cousin Woodrow, Aunt Belle's son, moves next door, she has her chance. Woodrow isn't as forthcoming as Gypsy hopes, yet he becomes more than just a curiosity to her. So again, can't read the whole thing, but this definitely looks really interesting, and the next one, there's a sequel, and the sequel is called The Search for Belle Prater. So, I guess we, uh, I guess we continue looking. Okay, next book is Fish in a Tree by Linda Mulally Hunt. This is what it says. It says, great minds don't always think alike. Allie has been smart enough to fool a lot of smart people. Every time she lands in a new school, she's able to hide her inability to read by creating clever yet disruptive distractions. She's afraid to ask for help. After all, how can you cure dumb? However, Allie's newest teacher sees the bright creative kid beneath the troublemaker and helps to shine a light on her gifts. 
Um, again, I think this looks really, really interesting, you know, shedding some light on that not everybody's brain is the same, not everybody thinks the same, and it definitely can make things uh, difficult for the traditional way of teaching. Next up is Shakespeare's Secret by Elise Broach. It says, named after a character from a Shakespearean play, Hero anticipates having a rough time starting the sixth grade at her new school. She isn't at all interested in this literary connection, not until she finds that there may be a diamond hidden in her new house. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Um, I will not read the whole back, but this looks so good. This one is Half a Chance by Cynthia Lord. So I, I read the back of this. I will not go into it all, but it talks a little bit about dementia, which is something that um, we're struggling a little bit with in my family. And so I'm already looking for it. This is gonna just be a tear darker, but also a really good book for my kids right now. This one is called Code Talker by Joseph Bruchak. I think this is gonna be super interesting. It's a novel about the Navajo Marines during World War II. The next one is called Echo by Pam Ryan. This one looks a little interesting. It says, Lost and Alone in Forbidden Forest, Otto, that's the name of our dog, meets three mysterious sisters and suddenly finds himself entwined in a puzzling quest involving a prophecy, promise, and a harmonica. Uh, again, there's more. We'll not read the whole thing, but this looks really good. And it's a nice, big, heavy duty book. So um, I'm excited to read this one. This one is called Which None Can Shut by Rima Good. Remarkable true stories of God's miraculous work in the Muslim world. The next one is The Mozart Season by Virginia Woolf. Again, looks really, really good. I'm trying to hurry at this point, just trying to get through all these for you guys. And last but not least is Soar. It's about a boy who loves playing baseball, but he has heart surgery so he can no longer play. So instead of playing, he starts coaching. Now we're on to readers. These are the books that he's reading himself. Um, my will be eighth grader. The first one is called The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. Again, these are in order. This is the first book that he will be reading. I Can Steal Anything. Um, the boy is bragging, puts him in prison, but basically um, someone in prison wants to exploit his skills as a thief. So that is what he is, um, that's the story here. He is going to find his way out of the situation, I imagine. <laughs> This one sounds really similar to the Shakespeare Stealer that we read in Core G, um, and my son and I both really enjoyed that, so I think he'll like this one. Okay, this name always is hard for me to pronounce, and I know he's so famous, but it's just like Rawl Doll. I, I just, is like, doesn't roll off the tongue, but going solo. This is about his experience as a pilot. Going solo is an action packed tale of the author's exploits in World War II as a pilot. This one sounds so good. I think my son will love it. The next one is called The Gamage Cup by Carol Kendall. I already read the back. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit confused. So instead of trying to read you the plot, which I found to be a little bit hard to understand, even just reading the back. Um, so I feel like it'd be really hard to like get the whole thing out to you guys. I'm gonna just read you what someone said about it, what the Horn book said about it, which was an almost inexhaustible variety of reading pleasures, plot, surprises, humor, fascinating characters, richness of ideas, and delight in words. Wonderfully dramatic. That's what the horn book said, so I think it'll be good. I just was a little bit confused on the plot. Everything on a Waffle by Polly Horvath. This sounded really interesting. It's about a little girl. Her parents go missing. She has to go live with her uncle, and um, she just doesn't want to give up hope that they're coming back, but the one thing that makes everything better or somewhat okay is that she gets to go to the waffle shop where they will serve anything on a waffle. This one is by Robert Louis Stevenson, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I actually don't read a lot of gothic horror. I dare say I never read gothic horror. The fact that it's in the Sunlight curriculum, I think that's really interesting. Obviously there's something good that, you know, Sunlight wanted them to get out of this besides the fact that it is just a classic and everybody should read it at least once. The next one is Robert McKinley's The Outlaws of Sherwood. So I am excited for him to get to read this. I have recently been reading the Lunar Chronicles, which are retellings of uh, Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, The Big Bad Wolf, and Rapunzel. So I'm kind of into this whole retelling thing right now. So I think this will be really, really interesting. I'm excited for him to read this. And then I think I'll probably snitch it and read it too. Cause I actually find, I found the back pretty intriguing. So the next one is Treasure Island also by Robert Louis Stevenson, the same author as the Jekyll, Dr. Hyde. Um, so, uh, another classic. And we already own this because like it's Treasure Island, but I'm excited for him to read it for school. Next one is 
Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. Bryan. Uh, funny thing, I actually recently purchased this from Goodwill because I didn't know what was coming in this year's curriculum, but this looks super good. I think my son actually just finished it it's in his room, so um, he's already read it, <laughs> but he's going to read it again, and uh, this definitely looks like a good story. The next one is called The Wrestling Game, and at first I thought I was going to have something to do with wrestling. It doesn't. That's the person's last name. Sorry, by Ellen Raskin, if you can't see that right there. Okay, so this one looked really interesting. I'm just gonna read you a little bit from the back. A bizarre chain of events begins when 16 unlikely people gather for the reading of Samuel W. Westing's will. And though no one knows why the eccentric, game-loving millionaire has chosen a virtual stranger and a possible murderer to inherit his vast fortune, one thing's for sure. Sam Westing may be dead, but that won't stop him from playing one last game. So uh, this one sounds really fun. <laughs> Guys, I just know, I just know my kids are going to want to like go through these and read them way before school starts. Okay, the next one is The Giver by Lois Lowry. Uh, again, not going to try to read the whole back. It did look kind of interesting. The next one is The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is funny because it's coming in week 24 of sunlight and... <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, at week 24, I'm not generally at Christmas. Like, Christmas doesn't hit week 24 for us in our school year. Christmas hits like week 12 to, you know, maybe 18 if we're doing well. So I think it's kind of funny that it's coming so far toward the end of the school year. However, um, I love A Christmas Carol. My son really enjoyed A Christmas Carol. We were having a great time reading it this last year, so I mean, it'll be a fun, easy read. I'm, I am just a little bit surprised we're reading it so late in the school year. The next one is The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Jester. Um, this one looked really fun, just about a boy who like finds the excitement in everyday life. So this one looked very interesting and I think it's good for 12 year old boys who are looking for excitement in everyday life. The next one is called The Teacher's Funeral by Richard Peck. Again, this looked like kind of humorous um, about little kids causing mischief, which you know, all kids love to read about. Hence why Die of a Wimpy Kid books are like incredibly famous. So sounded like one that will be a enjoyable read. The Wolves of Willoughby Chase. So this one looked kind of sad and um, interesting, but like dark, I don't know. It says, wicked wolves without and a grim governess within threaten Bonnie and her cousin Sylvia when Bonnie's parents leave Willoughby Chase for a sea voyage. I will not go into the whole thing. It definitely looked very interesting. It's by Joan Aiken um, and I guess we'll find out. I hope it has a happy ending because I'm a happy ending kind of a person. <laughs> Last but not least is Enchantress from the Stars by Sylvia Engdahl. One of the things that I really appreciate about Sunlight is that they bring in books that I wouldn't pick up. Uh, I know that they've pre-read them. This looks a little weird to me on the front, but apparently it's about like aliens and stuff and I don't really pick up a lot of books by, from, <laughs> by aliens. <laughs> I don't read a lot of books by aliens. I don't read a lot of books about aliens. <laughs> I mean, I guess who knows? I'm really uh, curious to see, but I think my son will enjoy this just because it looks kind of like interesting and sci-fi. That's the word I'm looking for. It's science fiction. So he likes science fiction and that's not what I naturally gravitate to. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and saw all these amazing books. I hope they got you super excited for your upcoming school year. I know my kids and I are like still cranking out 20, 21 like we're still trying to finish up this year but we're all already excited for next year and that's how it should be you should be excited to go into the next school year with just like all these new fun books that you can't wait to dig into and um i know i personally am having to put like the breaks on some of the activities my kids know we're doing next year they're already trying to get into it trying to do them so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I make videos every week about homeschooling, curriculum, reviews, and I'd love to have you guys join me again. Thanks so much for watching.